So the gaming convention E3 is going on this week. And of course, Nintendo has a booth set up where players can go ahead and test out Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, so this is the first time we're gained access to people being able to play the game. And uh, to my knowledge, there was actually a rule set up where uh, people aren't allowed to take any photos or video. It seemed like it was going to be a pretty strict rule. Um, but of course, the internet is the internet and we were actually... Uh, received some pictures via Twitter of some people posting some new Pokemon that we saw. So I'm not exactly sure how in-depth you are able to get with this playable demo, but I do know that you are able to do some battling. Uh, so we're able to see kind of some of the interface action. And also uh, in this video, I will be going over some screenshots of the stats of the starter Pokemon. So that's some pretty exciting stuff. But anyway, let's take a look at the first of the two new Pokemon. And this right here, this bad boy's name is Yamper. And <laughs> this is a Corgi Pokemon. And honestly, I am pretty damn excited about this thing. I didn't know that the world needed a Corgi Pokemon until today, and uh, I'm pretty damn happy about it, but I really do like this thing's design. I think it has good potential as like an early game Pokemon that we're going to see pretty frequently. Um, but the best thing about it is that it's actually electric type. He's got his little heart on his butt and uh, <laughs> a Pikachu-esque kind of uh, lightning bolt tail. So I'm really excited that they went with an interesting type rather than just going for the classic normal type making this thing another Zigzagoon. So I am really excited to see what this thing evolves into. I think it does have potential design-wise to be something pretty cool. I'm actually hoping that it does get a second typing, potentially fairy, seeing as it gets access to play rough. Uh, but then again, we have seen Pokemon like Stoutland get play rough and it's just kind of fitting for a dog Pokemon. But another thing to mention is that this thing actually gets access to an all new ability. Um, it's called Ball Fetch. And this is an ability that collects the first failed throw of a Pokeball. So not really sure what's up with that not the best ability in terms of usefulness but i mean that's something at least we got something new so i don't really see yamper as being too much of a competitive pokemon but i do seeing it see it as being a, a pretty decent uh early mon to add to the team so that is the good boy yamper and now let's get into the second new pokemon and this is one that i'm really excited about uh, because it has a unique typing and i think this thing is badass but this right here this bad boy is called impidimp so aside from this thing's design, which I really do like, uh, the one thing that sticks out to me is going to be its unique type combo, uh, which is Dark and Fairy, which uh, has a lot of potential, at least in my opinion, to be pretty competitive. Uh, it's something that is going to be pretty fun to mess around with, honestly. Um, he probably gets access to a lot of cool moves with that typing, and I really kind of get the vibe that this thing is going to be um, something that's going to be rocking like a prankster ability, kind of similar to Sableye, but... Uh, Obviously, he is a pretty base looking Pokemon, so it leaves a lot of room for uh, potential evolutions. And I am just going to say that I'm really impressed with all of the Pokemon designs that we've seen so far. I think they've done a pretty good job in terms of design, and I think that this thing uh, is going to evolve into something definitely badass. So, with that color combo, I've got me some pretty high hopes for Impidimp, and uh, he's definitely going to be going with me on my first adventure. So, Also, this thing probably has a lot of cool potential for a shiny variant as well. Leave a comment letting me know what you think the shiny colors are going to be for the two new Pokemon because I'm interested to see everybody's opinion. Also, a random thing to mention about this is that this lady's pants look like she's got some Impidimps on them. So, probably a pretty uh, pr pretty popular Pokemon in this region. But that was just kind of a random little, uh, little Easter egg there. Next up, I'm going to be showing some screenshots of the movesets of the party Pokemon here. So here, first off, we have Corviknight and uh, Flying Steel type, which we already did know. But uh, this thing has a badass moveset with Brave Bird, Swagger, Drill Peck, and Steel Wing. Uh, so at level 50, that seems like a pretty awesome uh, moveset there. The ability is going to be Pressure, which we did already have access to that as well. Uh, but Corviknight, I think, is going to be a second stage evolution. I could see kind of a smaller... Uh, like kind of Murkrow pre-evolution to this thing. Uh, I don't think it evolves any further, but uh, I think it is interesting to at least just see the moveset there. Seems pretty offensive. Next, we are able to see our boy Sobble's moveset, rocking Liquidation, Rain Dance, Soak, and Water Pulse. We don't get any hints to a second type. Obviously, I don't think they would uh, give us that much of a hint, but uh, that seems like a pretty decent moveset. I'm going to go ahead and say this thing's probably going to be more of a special attacker. Uh, it seems obvious as we've kind of just seen what this thing does, but uh, that's our boy Sobble. Next, we have Score Bunny rocking Flame Charge, Quick Attack, Double Edge, and Headbutt. Uh, again, seems like something you would expect. Obviously, they all have their starter abilities with Blaze. Uh, this thing doesn't really have anything too much that stands out about it. 
One thing to note is that a lot of people saw that it actually had the move Double Kick from the last Pokemon Direct, and they're saying that it's going to be a firefighting type, but I don't believe that. I think it's just a pretty common early game move, especially for a bunny Pokemon, uh, but if it turns out to be firefighting, that, uh, it's kind of going to be a bummer. Last but not least, we are able to take a look at our buddy Grookey's moveset, which is Razor Leaf, Slam, Uproar, and Knockoff. Uh, so it is actually really cool that we are able to see Knockoff from this thing. Uh, it kind of makes sense seeing as he carries that stick, he can just kind of whack you with it. But uh, it is cool to see um, this thing having Uproar, which is something that you wouldn't really expect. I mean, he's kind of a, kind of a loud boy, but uh, seeing Knockoff, I think, is the biggest uh, talking point here. So uh, Knockoff is not going anywhere. It's definitely around to stay in the competitive meta, and uh, Grookey's going to be rocking it. So in these next screenshots, we're going to continue talking about the starters, and this is actually going to show the stat page of uh, our buddy Sobble here. So uh, I am unsure if these stats are reflected by showing EVs. Um, if they are just base stats, it does give us kind of an interesting insight on what these things are going to do. Uh, but we see high special attack and high HP from this thing. It is definitely faster than I would expect it to be. Um, keep in mind that these are level 50 stats, but it is really cool to kind of get a little bit of a peek to see what we can expect these things evolutions to be like, but I do really like Sobble's stats. I think that St Sobble is probably my favorite of the three starters as a uh, how can you not like this thing? He's freaking amazing. But yeah, so seems pretty well-rounded overall. That special attack is insane and uh, much higher HP than you would expect. But uh, yeah, there's no question that Sobble is a primarily special attacker, which makes sense considering it's a water type. But the biggest thing is the speed. Um, obviously, it doesn't really show too much. I mean, the evolution could be slow, uh, as we've seen from the past, like Incineroar is super slow. But uh, yeah. Next up, we've got the boy Score Bunny, who is looking to be a pretty decent physical attacker with 115. Um, another thing to note here is that it's actually slower than Sobble, which is not something you would expect. You'd think this boy would be uh, pretty dang fast. It probably does get a lot more speed as it evolves, but uh, overall, it seems like pretty basic stats. We definitely just, the main thing you get out of this is just kind of seeing that this is definitely going to be a, uh, a physical attacker. So, so Score Bunny going to be flare blitzing all over the place and... Uh, it is another interesting thing there, as you can see, it's Dynamax level, so I'm not really sure what that indicates. Um, it does seem to have some bars there, but uh, Dynamax level kind of, I guess, is going to show you what it's going to be looking like at Dynamax. So uh, that is something that we're obviously going to have to wait to figure out, but I do actually really like seeing these screenshots because um, it's inter interesting for me to see kind of just the interface that they're working with. It does look pretty clean. A lot of people have been hating on kind of the interface, all the buttons and stuff that they're working with. But honestly, I think that they did a good job here. Uh, not a whole lot going on. It seems pretty basic, but uh, as an easy to read. So seeing the interface is something that we haven't really seen at this level before. And uh, now we can take a look at our physical attack and bunny. So that is score bunny at level 50. And this thing should be called score rabbit. Why is it not called score rabbit? It sounds way better. It just rolls off the tongue, but uh, <laughs> next up we have, last but not least, the Grookey. And uh, what sticks out about Grookey is that it's pretty well-rounded. It has nothing that really stands out too much. Um, its speed being pretty normal, it uh, doesn't really lean anywhere toward physical or special attacker. Um, it's kind of interesting to look at these stats as a level 50 um, base evolution so you can't really get too much of insight but i do think that this is going to be a mix attacker which is really cool um, i always have really liked the ability to kind of switch from physical and special attacks uh, but grookey is kind of the one that stands out in that it uh, doesn't really seem to shine into uh, in any in any real uh, stat so that is pretty interesting i, I do think that grookey is going to evolve into a big ass gorilla that is going to be amazing but um that is our grass starter boy so I'm not really one to cover potential leaks about these games, but uh, one thing I did want to toss at the end of this video is that if there's anything that we've noticed from these new Pokemon that we've seen is that this um, anonymous post uh, that um, had some leaks on Thursday, May 22nd, uh, has actually been correct on pretty much everything they've said, and they actually do have some more information for us, which leads me to believe that uh, this source does have some credible stuff. So um, the main thing is that he does mention the um, the Corgi Pokemon, which is going to be um, herding sheep Pokemon named Wulu, but Pamper Electric Corgi Pokemon will startle them and send them rolling elsewhere. So he mentioned this way before this information was released. Uh, he actually also has mentions of um, 
Pokemon like Farfetch will get regional evolutions along with Meowth. Looks like a ball of spiky gray fur. So if this is true, uh, it seems that all of this information in this leak are going to be true. Um, I may cover all of this information in a new video if that's something that you guys would be interested in. If we do get some more information from this source, I think it would be pretty interesting to talk about. But I just wanted to note that this guy pretty much called it and it turned out to be correct in that he also actually mentions the new water type uh, gym leader that I actually didn't talk about, but it's Nessa and he, uh, he does actually mention uh, Nessa by name. But if Team Yell is... <laughs> the uh the evil team in this as he mentions in the sec second line i'm gonna be a little bit disappointed but uh yeah i just wanted to put this screenshot up here you guys can pause and kind of read this and kind of uh, take what you will from it but i just did want to note that this guy seems to have some information as he did call our, our corgi friend and all that so uh yeah that is gonna pretty much be the video guys thank you so much for watching hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed and uh leave me a comment if you'd like to uh, see some more of this uh, type these types of videos in the future kind of me just talking about the new information that gets released I do like nerding out about this stuff and kind of seeing your guys's opinions on things and it's fun for me to talk about so Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out